Good morning. Welcome to Apple Park. Some Air users would prefer an even larger display. So, inspired by iPad Pro, where about half the users choose a larger screen, we created a 13-inch model of the new iPad Air as well. The 13-inch Air has 30% more screen real estate than the 11-inch Air. We've also redesigned the iPad Air to put the front-facing camera on the landscape edge. And it features center stage, which uses machine learning to automatically keep everyone in the field of view. The new Air features landscape stereo speakers with spatial audio, so it sounds great. The new Air comes in four finishes, a new blue and a new purple, as well as a beautiful starlight and space gray. So we're stepping up performance in a big way with the incredibly fast M2. M2 is a powerful chip that's improved in a number of ways over M1. It has a faster CPU, faster GPU, and much faster neural engine. And when combined with faster memory bandwidth, the new Air is nearly 50% faster than the previous Air with M1. And compared to iPad Air with A14 Bionic, the new Air provides up to an enormous three times faster performance. The new Air works with the Magic Keyboard, with its built-in trackpad, backlit keys, and terrific floating design. And of course, it supports the amazing Apple Pencil. And with M2 under the hood, the new Air supports Apple Pencil Hover for greater precision, letting you preview your mark before you make it. That's the new iPad Air, now available in 11-inch and 13-inch models. And both models feature double the starting storage, which is now 128 gigabytes. We've also expanded the number of storage options by adding 512 and one terabyte. We're thrilled that the new 11-inch Air still starts at just 599, and the 13-inch Air is just 799. You can order the new Air today, and it'll be available next week. This is the all-new, impossibly thin iPad Pro. The new Pro comes in two sizes, a new super portable 11-inch model and a new expansive 13-inch model. The 11-inch Pro is 5.3 millimeters thin, and the 13-inch Pro is an incredible 5.1 millimeters thin. Compared to the previous iPad Pro, the difference is striking. The new iPad Pro is even thinner than the iPod Nano, which makes it the thinnest Apple product ever. The 11-inch model is less than a pound, and the 13-inch model is nearly a quarter pound lighter than its predecessor iPad Pro comes in two great finishes, silver and space black. We wanted to give customers an even more remarkable visual experience. And we did just that by bringing OLED to iPad for the very first time. So we developed a state-of-the-art display that uses two OLED panels and combines the light from both to deliver phenomenal full-screen brightness. This technology is called Tandem OLED, and it's a breakthrough for iPad Pro. The new Pro can support an incredible 1,000 nits of full screen brightness for both SDR and HDR content, and 1,600 nits of peak HDR brightness. The display in the new Pro takes XDR precision to a whole new level, and we're calling it the Ultra Retina XDR. And it's coming to both models. And for Pro users working in high-end, color-managed workflows, or in the most demanding ambient lighting conditions, we're excited to bring a nano texture glass option to iPad Pro for the very first time. Nano texture glass is precisely etched at a nanometer scale, maintaining image quality and contrast while scattering ambient light for even less glare. For the new iPad Pro, you might expect that we would use the extremely powerful M3. Introducing M4. That's right, the new Pro jumps from M2 all the way to M4. M4 is built on second generation three nanometer technology that's even more power efficient. And M4 also features an entirely new display engine, the new CPU with up to four performance cores, and now with six efficiency cores, all with next generation ML accelerators, delivers up to 50% faster CPU performance over M2 in the previous iPad Pro. The next generation 10-core GPU architecture includes powerful features like dynamic caching and brings hardware-accelerated mesh shading and ray tracing to iPad for the first time. So games like Diablo Immortal look fantastic and pro rendering apps like Octane will flat out fly with up to four times faster performance than M2. M4 can deliver the same performance as M2 using just half the power 
And now, with M4, we have our most powerful neural engine ever, capable of an astounding 38 trillion operations per second. That's a breathtaking 60 times faster than our first neural engine in the A11 Bionic. So that's M4. It's built with cutting edge technology that enables the breakthrough design and stunning display of the new Pro. By incorporating graphite sheets into the main housing and copper in the Apple logo, we've been able to improve thermal performance by nearly 20%. And the combination of this improved design along with M4 means the new iPad Pro is up to four times faster than the previous iPad Pro with M2. And up to an astounding 10 times faster than the original iPad Pro. With reference mode, iPad OS can precisely match color requirements for tasks like color grading where accurate and consistent image quality are extremely critical. iPad OS also has advanced frameworks like Core ML that make it easy for developers to tap into the neural engine to deliver powerful AI features right on device. Introducing Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro 2. Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad were redesigned from the ground up for touch. Let's start with Final Cut Pro. With the new iPad Pro and M4, it absolutely screams, with final rendering up to two times faster than M1. Live Multicam. Live Multicam enables filmmakers to connect and preview up to four cameras all at once, all in one place. Creators can remotely direct each video angle and dial in exposure, white balance, focus, and more. To support Live Multicam, we created an entirely new app for iPhone and iPad, and we call it Final Cut Camera. Final Cut Camera allows users to easily connect multiple iPhones or iPads to capture additional angles during a live multicam shoot, or record professional videos with precise manual controls as a free standalone app. Final Cut Pro automatically transfers and syncs each live multicam angle so you can seamlessly move from production to editing. New external project support now offers creators the flexibility of editing projects directly off a drive, leveraging the fast Thunderbolt connection of iPad Pro. Editing and finishing is incredible with M4, with support for up to four times more streams of ProRes RAW than M1. Logic Pro 2 is so exciting, and it's smarter than ever. Now, Drummer is getting some new bandmates in a feature we call Session Players. We're introducing an all-new bass and keyboard player, and like Drummer, they're built using AI. Producers today rely on hardware to infuse digital recordings with analog warmth. Now, we're packing all of that into Logic Pro with a new plugin we call Chroma Glow. We use machine learning to model that sound in amazing detail, Stem Splitter. It takes any recording and quickly extracts four distinct parts for voice, bass, drums, and other instruments. And with the power of M4, it all happens on device, super fast, so you can get on with remixing your song. So that's Logic Pro 2. When creating a project in Final Cut Pro, users can capture detailed 4K ProRes video using the 12 megapixel back camera and rich audio from four studio quality mics. iPad Pro also includes the LiDAR scanner, which makes AR experiences faster and more stable. And a new adaptive True Tone flash that makes document scanning on the new Pro better than ever. It uses AI to automatically detect documents like forms and receipts. If shadows are in the way, it instantly takes multiple photos with the new adaptive flash. The frames are stitched together and the result is a dramatically better scan. The 12 megapixel ultra wide camera moves from the portrait to the landscape edge, just like iPad Air. This is also the new home for Face ID and a completely new charging and pairing system for Apple Pencil. We're introducing an all new Magic Keyboard. This is the new Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro. It's been completely redesigned to be much thinner and even lighter. First, it now includes a function row for quick access to convenient controls like screen brightness. It also has a gorgeous aluminum palm rest and a larger trackpad that's even more responsive with haptic feedback. So the entire experience feels just like using a MacBook. Introducing Apple Pencil Pro. To start, we added a new sensor in the barrel of the pencil 
to enable new interactions. So now, for example, you can just squeeze it to bring up a new tool palette. And when you squeeze the pencil, a haptic engine delivers precise feedback that you can feel. A gyroscope allows you to roll the pencil for precise control of the tool you're using, like changing the orientation of a shaped pen or brush. If you ever lose Apple Pencil Pro, you can easily locate it, since it now supports Find My. And of course, it pairs, charges, and stores magnetically on the side of iPad Pro. So that's the new Apple Pencil Pro. With its incredible new features, it begins a whole new era of creativity on iPad. And we're also excited that Apple Pencil Pro works with the new iPad Air as well. So that's the new iPad Pro. It features the breakthrough Ultra Retina XDR display, the next level performance of M4, fast 5G cellular, and a landscape front-facing camera. The new iPad Pro comes with double the storage, which is now 256 gigabytes. The 11-inch model starts at $999, and the 13-inch model starts at $1299. The new Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro is $299 and $349. And the new Apple Pencil Pro is just $129, an amazing value for such an incredible device. Customers can order the new iPad Pro, Magic Keyboard, and Apple Pencil Pro today, and they'll be available next week. Today, we're also making iPad 10th generation even more affordable. It's now just $349, making it a great entry point into the iPad lineup. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.